now i want to focus a bit on the future right this journey which has brought you where you are today can you share what is next what is it that you care about most deeply and then what will that look like in the future it's a very uh, deep question that i hope i can answer in a precise and concise way it's obviously complex in itself it's multifaceted there is no one clear answer but there's a couple of things that i really think uh preoccupy me in terms of pace and um understanding where we need to be as a business community on a global level uh first and the foremost i think it's very clear that the roads which we have been taking for a considerable time when it comes to ensuring really the pillars of well-being not just as a human society but beyond have not been the best i think there is going to be a drastic you know urgent review but also action led type of leadership that's required for the next generation and for the generation that's really doing the job now overall um obviously sustainability is one big thing and it's such a of course trendy word and it has formed a part of our regular daily vocabulary but it's of course always that is also the exchange part about understanding what more could we do and being conscious of our choices um that will impact the well-being of this ecosystem of this planet short term and long term right yeah uh that's very important it needs to be a part of our awareness in making decisions on constant basis we are ultimately very responsible over the choices that we make and have much more impact than what we deem to think often uh so i think that is key the resources are not infinite um i think we've understood now by this point that the planet is actually very giving but there are degrees of how much we can abuse that and the truth is that i think if we scratch the surface it's quite alarming and in some cases continues to be and i understand sometimes even that review can form a part of the privilege when you are in a position to see that versus you know you really have no choices so i'm also aware of that but i always think there is a degree things are not binary but there's always a way to make it a little bit better and if everybody tries a little bit better right then we are already shifting to a better position i'm not also you know but the opinion that everything should be vilified i do think we need to recognize the reality that sometimes there's simply very little choices depending on where you are the environments the macroeconomics so you've got to sometimes do what you've got to do but i always think there is a degree in that decision making that does not need to be that terrible with that comes also um really important issues like gender balance and what i mean gender balance is really uh, a shift um which is not happened yet in my opinion it's a tectonic shift not a shift of here we've got an excel or a presentation that balances that a few hires that are diverse in terms of gender balance background balance racial balance or whatever balance we may be seeking um i'm not necessarily interested in the optics side of things that's very well done but it's very clear that it's feeble it is not really fundamental i would be looking forward as the next you know generation of leadership unfolds gradually to really see those fundamental tectonic shifts for example it's the female thinking and redesign of the yes. world that interests me a new perspective on the world and how the business is done that interests me not um a very weak voice in my opinion at the moment that comes from that side of things that typically also retroengineered and designed to fit in this male dominated you know view yeah and if we allow that to happen we will really 
understand how very different the world could look, right? Um, how different society could look, how different this could look, and ultimately our lifestyle and world. So I know that's a lot to take in, but let's start, for example, with a very simple concept of more than half of our planet are females. It's the thinking, the difference, fundamental difference in thinking and being that must be recognized. And the difference is what we need to celebrate. And the different thinking is what we need to invite to redesign the world of today. Now, I think despite all the optics, we are really far from that. <laughs> and I know for a fact that a lot of people, males, of course, will be very uncomfortable with that. But it's the only thing that is really going to shift the needle. And then it comes, obviously, consequentially, all the other differences on perspective on how things should be thought through, done, executed. All of that comes into that. Differences in culture, you know. This world is very rich uh, in thinking, in perspective and opinions. But I see very few of those perspectives really leading. It's complex as we become more conscious and more connected and understand it's really borders are a human concept, right? There is no such thing. Somebody decided to put the line and this is yours and this is mine, but it's really all shared resource. We will, I think, gradually be more open. Uh, I understand there is an element of utopia of these statements, but I also hold them fundamentally true. We are in this spherical globe sharing this entity and um, it's time for us to really allow us to be who we really are self-authentic and be able to invite different perspectives into our life and what we do rather than this monolithic mm. mostly white male view of the world thank you yeah i think i cannot express in words what i'm feeling right now <laughs> in what you shared right it's as you said right it can sound utopian but i think that's also a very male thing to dismiss something or uh, asking to be practical and what you are sharing is a call right as you said it's a call it's uh, time is now and it's uh, so deeper than like when i ask this question about the future people will tell me about more revenue more business new companies but what you are sharing is so much beyond uh, your individual leadership and then that tells me like what you are thinking or how you are envisioning and that is so inclusive. So I want to like take a moment to just acknowledge what you just shared. Yes. Uh, and yes, it doesn't take away from any complexity. It doesn't make the whole journey easier. But unless we address that head on sometimes, as you said, tectonic shifts are required in, in many areas. So we will not be able to move with a full authenticity and full like really honoring what we are facing. Uh, and also acknowledging our small space, right? We are a speck of dust if you see the planet rotating in the universe like we are nobody and yet many times we see that we are the center of the world maybe subconsciously but and that holds us back from our leadership so many times so thank you for sharing that i could see a very different spark in your eyes as you were sharing that and i want to create a separate segment a separate clipping of that uh, and i'm going to share it with so many people thank you right. thank you so much um yeah. i think a part of leadership responsibility is really recognizing the human side of our workforce of business scenarios that we are immersed in and that's what i felt that this podcast is really is i think there is a lot of people that will be tuning into this that are incredibly good at dealing with the day-to-day -day, uh, running of the business and strategic parts no doubt as well from being able to touch on perf performance management and how to get the best of their environment for me it has traditionally been very important to tap into the human element of the leadership as that extra pocket that many leaders don't go into but funnily enough it unleashes so much and this incredible untapped potential they can just release which has twofold benefits first of all that person feels more self-actualized um, and therefore more confident they're able to contribute more more motivated and as a consequence the business obviously performs better so that's what i found and that's why i tend to focus 
on that human part of leadership, which often Excel does not show. Of course, we all have results to report. Yes. Them. But I feel that this conversation is a little bit, or should be in my point of view, a bit deeper than that.